A role in the fast-growing semiconductor space, and it's toasting to more growth in Westfield. Indiana Inside Indiana Business, that is. Television host Gary Dick has more from the IBJ Media Studios right there on Monument Circle in downtown Indy. Well, when President Biden signed the Chips and Science Act into law in Washington, D.C. this week, it was getting a lot of attention here in Indiana because of the state's growing profile in the high-tech world of chip manufacturing. Now, the law provides more than $52 billion in grants and other incentives for companies like Skywater Technology, which plans to build a nearly $2 billion semiconductor R&D and manufacturing facility at Purdue's Discovery Park. Now, industry insiders we've talked with say this could be just the tip of the iceberg with billions more in investment and thousands of jobs on the way for Indiana. The Indianapolis Business Journal is out with news about a federal civil rights settlement against senior housing company, the Clover Group, which has several properties in Indiana. A settlement designed to improve access for persons with disabilities. And cheers in Westfield as West Fork Whiskey uh, opens its new distillery there. It's now one of the largest distilleries in the country. The Westfield operation will include an agribusiness component. Coming up this week, Inside Indiana Business at 8 a.m. Sunday on CBS4. More on the big runway project at Indianapolis International Airport and a look at the potential for a new nonstop from Indy to Europe. Also, Good Bone star Mina Starziak Hawk and what's next for her in the retail space and the newest made from scratch pasta hotspots in this month's Trendiana. So we'll see you Sunday morning on CBS4, and you can get the latest on these stories and much more at InsideIndianaBusiness.com and IBJ.com. All right, Gary, thank you so much.